But you guys saw me where you at your motivation guy is back. I'm so pumped up, man. This is your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to bring you guys the greatest tips to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. But if you don't believe it, you're never gonna see it. So you gotta have that confidence, all right? You know, we all know how difficult it can be to really consistently play some solo cash cups, but Cammy makes it look like a piece of cake. Cammy is a European pro player who is currently ranked number two in his region and has already made earnings in four cash cups this season. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at his first place finish from the Sunday solo finals so you can really see how our pro player dominates the end game. You guys ready for this? Well, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so before we hop into game one, we want to make sure that everybody is familiar with the solo format. You know, the solo cash cup starts with an open qualifier on Saturday with an average of 25,000 players competing for a top 100 placement in order to secure their spot in the Sunday finals. In the open round, there is a total of 30 potential placement points in each match, along with each elimination granting an additional point. With the typical top 100 threshold being 120 points, players need to play extremely consistent if they want to stay on track for qualifying. Qualification. Okay, so the Sunday finals have the same 30 potential placement points, with the only difference being that each elimination will grant you two points instead of one, considering how stacked these lobbies are. To give you guys perspective on what's at stake, for the EU region, the top 55 players will earn $200, the top 15 will earn $500, and the winner will take home $1,000. These prizes definitely aren't as generous as the ones we've seen in the past, but you know, they're enough to make every player go all out and just play the best of their ability. If you thought that the Cash Cup lobbies were difficult, just wait until you see how stacked these final matches are. So Cammy enters the end game of game number one with around 900 total materials, but has absolutely no metal. He knows that he's gonna need hard mats if he wants to do well in this lobby so he could just look for a refresh kill. Okay, so he sees that the player to his right is getting pressured by others, so he decides to join in with them. He ends up taking the opponent's wall on his first try and he secures the kill with only a few SMG shots since the player was already weak though. Although he was able to secure the elimination, he was unable to grab the loot due to the other players pressuring the floor, which caused the the metal to fall below. Cammy breaks the cone in front of him and destroys the car on low health. This causes a fire to spread quickly and ends up killing an opponent that was already low on HP. At this point, Cammy knows that he's gonna need to recycle a launch pad for his rotation. He spots one behind him in Storm and uses his tactical sprint to make the leap for a quick and easy rotation to the front side of zone. Once he creates some boxes for himself, he looks towards the back of zone and starts putting in work with his SMG. He wasn't able to get any kills, but he definitely grieved a few players' games here. He then uses his tactical sprint to make it all the way into zone and manages to get a quick kill with his combat SMG. This only gives him a small 150 brick refresh, but it's better than nothing. All right, so this next zone is pulling very far and Cammy has very little mats. He rotates pretty far on foot by just using his tactical sprint, something that you're gonna see him do a lot in this video. As he sits in his box looking for an opportunity, a shambles player breaks in, giving Cammy an easy elimination and a couple hundred hard mats. He attempts to use the same tactical sprint strategy to continue his rotation, but gets hit pretty weak by an opponent hiding under a cone. Luckily for him, he's carrying four floppers. This means that he could just take his time and storm, shield up, and then just get in the zone safely. Cammy notices that his lair is highly congested by aggressive players, so he runs ahead and he gets himself into a safer lower lair. He is absolutely shambles on materials at this point, so he just really just is relying on his tactical sprint for rotation. He stays where he's at for a minute to look for a refresh. He uses his drum shoddy to just break an opponent's wall and he secures a kill. Another player attempts to steal his loot and falls victim him to the same play. Cammy then takes zone to grab his loot pile and replaces Og with the med miss. He uses all of his white heels to really get into zone, but ends up dying on low ground since he was pinched between two players. If you guys want to start playing your end games like Cammy, make sure that you head on over to ProGuys.com, where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so that you can improve fast. All right, so Cammy had a very strong start as he ended game one with 27 points and game two with 42 points. All right, so we're gonna jump right into game three because this is really where all the action starts. Before receiving any placement points, Cammy was already able to earn an easy four points just by being aware of his surroundings. He first notices two players fighting nearly 200 meters away and cleans the low HP player up with his AUG and then eliminates another low HP player who has just launched padding out of storm. All right, so as Cammy approaches the top 30 threshold, we want you guys 
surprised to see how he abuses the tactical sprint mechanic. Due to tarping in these stacks, solo lobbies not being viable, Cammy will sprint as far as he can before the bar runs out or if other players spray at him. Okay, so he then box up, looks for potential kill opportunities, then he edits out of his box and he repeats the same process over and over again. Since the tactical sprint is practically the equivalent of a pepper, I mean, you can often get away with sprinting through rotations for free as long as you have the decent cover and the timing correctly. This saves a ton of materials and it's just really the best rotation strategy available in solos when you don't have a launch pad available. Okay, so as the top 15 placement points start to roll in, Cammy only has 90 wood to his name. Most players in this situation would just make a panic play and just die in no time, but Cammy actually manages to place third in this match by playing smart and patient. He's able to get a small mat refresh by just being aware of his surroundings and he's killing a shambles player on the edge of zone. He uses these materials to provide some protection for himself on the highly congested mid-ground layer while all the weak players just start killing each other quickly. He's able to claim high ground for a brief moment but is unable to hold it as he runs out of the materials entirely. If Cammy had even 100 total mats at this point, I mean he very well could have just won the game. Alright, bunch of grunts army, it's time for the question of the day. What is the best placement that you've ever gotten in a solo cup? Be honest, okay? Be real. And if you haven't completed one yet, where would you like to see yourself placing? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, so just like game three, Cammy used game four to make sure that he stayed number one on the leaderboard. He was able to secure a second place finish with three limbs. Let's see how he did it though. Okay, so if you watch Cammy in the past, you've probably seen how much you know self-restraint he has. Take this situation for an example. As Cammy rotates his zone, approaching top 25 placement, two players are just fighting outside of his box. He initially opens up his wall to look for a kill, but quickly closes it off and continues his rotation instead. He knows that he could just very well get his health destroyed here and he decides not to take the risk for an extra two points when he has a whole end game to play out. Okay, so as we jump ahead into the top five threshold, Cammy has zero materials. He already plays his builds to protect himself from the high ground player as he looks for a refresh kill. He sprays into a player's box and Storm and he wins the aim duel. He manages to grab a med miss and makes a 200 IQ play right here. He swims underneath these builds while med maintain his health and as he approaches the zone, he jumps onto a floor and he creates some room for himself using the materials he had just picked up. This gives him some time to heal while the third player gets killed, making it a 1v1 situation. Since he wasn't carrying a shotgun in this match, this is a very difficult fight to win, but he manages to deal some damage though. Although he wasn't able to kill the last player and secure the win, he was able to earn a ton of points this game and make sure that he maintained his position in first place on the leaderboard. Okay, so Cammy finished this tournament very strong as he placed 5th and 12th in his last two games. These additional placements allowed him to finish the finals with a whopping 139 total points in only 6 matches. He finished 8 points ahead of the 2nd place player who even won 2 games, which is absolutely insane. Cammy has an incredibly consistent performance with every game being a top 10 finish except 1 while still securing 16 limbs. This is just great for his stacked finals tournament and definitely made everybody recognize him as being one of the top solo players in the world this season. But you guys tell me where you at your motivation guys back. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Spread the word that we got a lot of great content coming out. And uh, also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. And I really hope that this breakdown helped you guys see what it takes to place consistently in solos like Cami. Definitely let us know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. All right, guys, connect you on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy, and I'll see you on the next one.